Hi everyone, Janie here and today I'm going to be sharing a really awesome card fold with you. I call it a flip and fold card and Erin Reed calls it a flip flap interactive card and whatever you want to call it, it is awesome. And before I do the tutorial, I am going to share the card that I made for my son just to give you some inspiration, especially if you need inspiration for a masculine card, but also to show you what the card would look like, you know, all decorated. But keep in mind that you can make this feminine, you can make this for a child, you can bling it up and add flowers and just there are so many possibilities. So let's head on over to the craft table and let's just get started. Before I take the card out of the envelope, I wanted you to see that this does fit in an A2 size envelope, just like any other four and a fourth by five and a half inch card, even though you will be surprised when you see how much there is to this card. And another thing I need to tell you is that this is not an original idea of mine. Even though I have made several flip and fold mini albums, I never thought of turning one into a card. But a very creative crafter here on YouTube named Erin Reed, she did think of it. And her channel is Erin Reed Makes, and I'm going to put a link below in the description box to her tutorial on this card and you can go look and see what she does. And I'm also going to put a link below in the description box to the Gone Fishing Digital Kit from TaylorMade Cards for You because that is what I used on this and it is a fabulous kit. Absolutely love it. Perfect for masculine cards. So let's get started. I have a little belly band to go around it and I added some liquid glass to the fish to give it some shine. We're going to slide off this belly band. And here's the front of the card. It flips open. And I added some, I'm not sure what to call this, so I'm going to call it netting or something. It's really cool. Okay, so I added that because it just reminded me of a fishing net. And it opens again and again. And I came up with a um, sentiment that I put there. So that's, that's totally my own. And all of these things that you are seeing are pieces from the Gone Fishing Kit. Everything that I used in here um, is from that kit. And it's absolutely fabulous. And so right here, and I have it sitting off to the side because it's kind of personal. We've already signed it and haven't put it on here. But this is where the happy birthday is going to go. And, you know, we've signed it and everything. And so it's just really a cute card. I mean, it just flips and folds and, and folds. And that's the back. You could do something to the back if you would like. And then again, the belly band to go over it to hold it all together. So... Isn't this just cool? I absolutely love it. Just showing it to you one more time here before we head on over and do the tutorial on how to make this. To make this card, you're going to need one full sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it down the middle, so four and a fourth inches across, by 11, just like making an A2 size card that folds this direction. So four and a fourth by 11. Then you are going to cut a piece that is three and a half by 10. But the way you're going to do that is you're just going to cut it three and a half by 11, and then you can cut it down to 10, leaving you with this extra piece that you are going to use. And that will also leave you with this last piece that you're going to be using for the belly band. And this is going to go along with the belly band. I'm just going to kind of roll it around here a little bit because this is going to go on the front or you could put something else on the front like I did, but you can use this to put happy birthday or happy father's day or whatever it is you want and put that on the front of the belly band. So you have utilized every piece 
of an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. Now you can see on mine that I have two different colors and that is really easy to do because all you have to do is pick your other color and cut it the exact same way. So we have all of the exact same pieces. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna trade out this one. So the one that's three and a half by 10, we'll set that aside and we'll take the blue one that is three and a half by 10. And then you can have another card that is blue. Well, actually whatever color you want. <laughs> I'm just using blue right now. And then that extra piece um, that folds in will be the craft color. And so you're not wasting anything. Now you have the ability to make two cards if you wanted them in two different colors. But it only takes one full sheet for the card. So for this card, I am going to be using two different colors so that you'll be able to see better with the contrast and also because I like using the two different colors on my card. So on the piece that was four and a fourth by 11, we're going to score it at five and a half right down the middle and that creates your card. So that would be a normal A2 size card. But we're going to score it again. So let's open it back up. And half of five and a half is two and three fourths. So we are now going to score it at two and three fourths. And we're going to fold that in. And now we have our folds. And just Use your phone folder and get that down there. And so you recognize that from the other card. Okay, set that aside. We're going to grab the other piece. Now this is the piece that is three and a half by ten. And we are going to score that at five because five is half a ten. So five is the center. And we are going to fold that in half. Okay, so you're wondering about the belly band. We are not going to score that. I'm gonna show you why later. I'm not gonna take you through the entire decorating process, but I am gonna do a little, and so I have already printed out what I'm gonna be using, and I'm going to go cut some out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut out the piece that I'm gonna be putting on this side of the card, and I chose to cut it a little bit smaller. So it's actually, I believe, four by five and a fourth. You can cut it down whatever size you want, or you can cut it the same size. It's totally up to you. And I'm going to put that on there right now because I want to show you where that next piece goes. And it's best if I have this on there probably also be good if I didn't have a white background here so I could actually see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm using my Beacon 3-in-1, but if you wanted to, you could use double-sided tape. I'm just more comfortable with this. So I'm just going to put this right on here. I like to have that little bit of a border going around. That's just my preference. And now I can show you that this part of the card, which is now going to open the opposite way. Normally a card would open this way. It's going to open this way. So this is going to be the front of your card. This is where you're going to put whatever you want to be on the front. Um, on this one, I put the, the little fisherman you can put whatever you want, but that's going to be the front. And then you open it up. This could be where your sentiment goes, or you could choose to put your sentiment somewhere else or on the other side. Um, I put mine there. But what I wanted to show you is, and I'm not going to attach this yet because I still need to do my decorating before I attach it, but I just wanted to show you that this is what you're going to attach and you're just going to center it like so. Okay, so you don't want it all the way over to this edge and you don't want it all the way over to that edge. You want it centered so that it'll be centered when the card is closed. So let me see if I can give you an example here. I'm gonna open that up. 
I'm going to fold that under. And see, it's centered still. So there's a little bit on that side and a little bit on this side. And of course, you want it centered top to bottom as well. So that is how this goes together. And as usual with all of my videos, I leave the decorating up to you because I don't really know what you want to put there. For mine, let me go back and open mine back up again so I can show you. I used the same paper that I used over here so that it all blended together. But you don't have to. You can make it more fun and, and make it a different paper there altogether. And you can, you know, add pictures there or you can map things different than I do, you know, leaving a different border or no border. Um, you can add embellishments and all kinds of goodies. And that's why I'm not decorating it because you have already seen how I decorated this one. So you don't need to really watch me decorate this one. You just needed to see how it folded and how the folds go together and how this one folds the opposite direction and get centered on this piece. So that's where you are going to adhere that. So now we need to talk about the belly band. Let me grab that. Okay, we've got that little piece, got the belly band. Let me put the lid on my glue here really quick because I don't want it drying out. All right, so this is how I do the belly band. Lay it out straight. Lay your card on it. Get your card centered. You know what? Let me pause this and I'm going to move my camera in a little bit closer. There, is that better? I thought it was. Okay, so center it with your belly band behind it. And then I want you to bring your belly band around and press on the edge. So, you know, use your bone folder or your fingers. You're going to bring this one around and line them up. Make sure that they line up together and press it with your fingers. I want you to see this. See how there's a little opening there? Okay. The little opening is okay because then you are either going to take that extra piece and stamp your sentiment on it or whatever you want to do to it or decorate it. Maybe you want to put gems on it if you're doing this for a girl, some flowers and butterflies. There's so many possibilities. Um, I'm showing a masculine card, but go crazy if it's a girl card and add all kinds of pretty bling. Okay, so you can add that to there. And I don't suggest actually doing it while it's on here. <laughs> you don't want the glue to go out. Well, you know, actually, if you're using, if you are using double-sided tape, do it while it's on here then. So you can see exactly where you're laying things because then you're going to lay that over the top and it's going to be adhered to your belly band and it'll be a part of your belly band and it can just slide off. Or let me see here. I'm about ready to make a mess. Almost knocked everything over. Here is the blue one, just to give you an idea. So that's what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna attach something there. Let me grab my belly band. I did this on mine, and you could do something like that as well. So just remember, fold it after it's on the card so that it is a proper fit, because if you scored these ahead of time, that little gap there would probably be missing, <laughs> and it wouldn't fit. So. There you go. Just use a little double-sided tape on each side and boom. Add your sentiment or your bling or whatever. And that is how you make this card. My goal was to make this a quick and easy tutorial for you and I hope that I succeeded and I hope that it was easy to follow. And I also wanted to give you a little inspiration by showing you the card that I made but remember, this does not have to be a card for a guy. It could be a card for a girl, a child. Um, it could be any kind of card. You can bling it up in flowers and, and pretty things or just go masculine. It's totally up to you. There are so many possibilities. 
Thank you all for watching today. And don't forget, there is a link below to Erin Reed's um, YouTube video so you can see what she did with this card and get some more inspiration. And if you like the, um, the papers that I used today, the Gone Fishing kit, there is a link below in the description box to that kit. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.